Well, good morning and welcome to another Tiny Desk Sermon. Uh, I'm Pastor Rushi, as always, happy to be with you here this morning. So we are going to look at the epistle lesson uh, for this coming Sunday, uh, August 8th. So we're going to hear from Paul's letter to the church in Ephesus, uh, chapter 4, starting at verse 17. So Paul writes, Now I say, Now this I say and testify in the Lord, that you must no longer walk as the Gentiles do in the futility of their minds. They are darkened in their understanding, alienated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them due to their hardness of heart. They become callous and have given themselves up to sensuality, greedy to practice every kind of impurity. But that is not the way you learned Christ, assuming that you have heard about him and were taught in him as the truth is in Jesus. So to put off your old self, which belongs to your former manner of life and is corrupt throughout deceitful desires and be renewed in the spirit of your minds and to put on the new self created after the likeness of God in true righteousness and holiness. Therefore, having put away falsehood, let each one of you speak the truth with his neighbor, for we are members one of another. Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger and give no opportunity to the devil. Let the thief no longer steal, but Rather, let him labor doing honest work with his own hands so that he may have something to share with anyone in need. Let no corrupting talk come out of your mouths, but only such that is good for building up as fits the occasion that it may give grace to those who hear. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and slander be put away from you along with all malice. Be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another as God in Christ forgave you. Therefore, be imitators of Christ as beloved children and walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us, a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. And so Paul's letter here, it's drawing to an end. And he's writing to this church in, in Ephesus, the Ephesians, and he's saying, hey, this is how Christians live. And it sounds to us sometimes as law that to, to be a Christian means, you know, oh, you know, you do this thing, you do this thing, and you do this thing. But is it grace or is it law? Is it simply Paul saying these are the things that, that bind us to our sinful nature? These are the things that we have cast off in this newness of life, in this new creation that we are, this, this new body, as Paul puts it, made after the image of God. And at the end, he gives one of those, those great Pauline passages. Be imitators of God. Be imitators of God. What does that mean? How can we imitate God the Father? We, we aren't immortal. We aren't uh, omniscient. We aren't omnipotent. We aren't any of these things. But what we are is made in his image. And in fact, we have that image restored to us in the waters of holy baptism. And that drowning of the old Adam, he clothes us in his righteousness, as Paul puts it. We put on this new flesh and we become part of his family, members one of another, and we build each other up. We don't tear one another down. We seek not only our own good, but the good of our neighbor. Because, well, that's what God himself did. Walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself up as a fragrant sacrifice. Gave himself up to, the, to death, even death on a cross. That you and I may be called children of God. Well, thanks for joining me this week. We'll look forward to seeing you on Sunday. God's blessings. Have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.